flower petal? No. Hmm. A squash banana? No, no. A stain? No, no, no. A tadpole? Really, Junior? Not bad, but no. I got your tongue? It's a microbe! Mr. Maurice, Miguel never seen mini microbe. A microbe, Miguel? I'm not surprised you haven't seen one, because microbes aren't visible to the naked eye, just like viruses or bacteria. And yet they're everywhere! Oh, sure, any excuse to show off your science skills, Gilbert. Besides, I'm sure that drawing something that we can't see and maybe doesn't even exist goes against the rules of the game. It's my game and my rules! We'll discuss the rules another time. For now, duty calls the Jungle Bunch! <laughs> To the rescue! Good mission! Open. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm a bit nearsighted. Uh, hello? How can we help you? I'm looking for the Jungle Bunch. We're standing right in front of you, my friend. So what brings you to this part of the world? Oh, uh, my husband Emil and I got kind of lost in a very foggy valley when all of a sudden my husband was kidnapped by mammoths. Mr. Maurice, what are mammoths? Actually, Miguel, they're sort of like very hairy elephants. Ooh. But they've been extinct for, uh... For over 3,500 years. <laughs> I'm sorry, but your story's hard to believe. But you have to believe me. We were walking near the Green Lagoon, then we walked through a stony arch and we fell into a time rift. Mr. Maurice, what's a slime gift? I was certain you are going to ask us, Miguel. A time rift allows you to travel back in time. Ha! It gets better. Keep talking. We could use a good laugh. I'm telling you that I did see mammoths, Mr. Hamster. Uh, that's just perfect. Now I'm a hamster. No, I'm a tar seer. And did you see anything else there? Like a gigantic ant? Or like a saw shark, perhaps? I believe you. We can't see the microbes, but they exist. Uh. Doesn't anybody ever listen to me? I told you to find mammoths that don't exist in the middle of the fog. You gotta get up pretty early. Hmm. You're right, Gilbert. We haven't a moment to waste. Come on, let's all head out for the Blue Lagoon. I'll follow you. Oh. Hmm. Well, you are nearsighted. That's for sure. Maybe you should stay here and wait for us. Good idea. Yes. That way, the mission will be quick. We go out there, we find nothing, and we come back. Find a path. So, did you see something? Yes, there are mammoths everywhere. They're surrounding us. Hmm. Mr. Maurice, can we get some bad moth moths? It's mammoths, foreigner. Valiant mammoths from ancient times. Oh, how nice. We thought you were extinct, but mistakes happen. We're looking for a mole named Emil. Have you seen him? Emil? Mm -hmm. Yes, he's our prisoner. And he'll stay that way, do you hear? So you better just scoot along or else. Out of the question. We will not leave without a meal. Warriors, show these inferior beings the extent of the mammoth's power by trampling them. Uh -huh. Go on, charge! Trample them already! Miguel, I repeat once more, mammoths don't exist! Check this bad moth moth that doesn't exist! <laughs> Cool him down a little. Ah! ah, do you see how a great warrior tiger is able to scare his opponent, son? They lose their hair. <laughs> hmm? Uh, are you sure, son? Uh, 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 hey, you come back here. I have some questions to ask you. Hey, guys, there's a mole here. I'm not a mole. Put on your glasses. I'm a tarsi. Ah! Miguel, you have to wake up. We need your help. Leave me alone, you stupid elephant. Mr. Maurice! Mr. Maurice! Hey, you! Have you 
scrubbed out the scribbles you've done on our sacred painting yet? I'm scrubbing, I'm scrubbing. We found you two extra helpers. Scrub like him, or you'll end up like this watermelon. Everything's gonna be okay, Emil. We've come here to save you. Lucette told us you'd been taken prisoner. Lucette is safe and sound? Phew, but how are you going to set me free if you're tied like a prisoner too? Oh, that thing? Don't worry, backup is on its way. At least, I hope. What's that ridiculous heart right in the middle of this magnificent artwork? I drew that heart for my darling Lucette. I didn't even notice that there was another drawing. What you call a drawing is a painting dating back over 3,500 years ago. Oh, here we go. Gilbert spouting science facts when he should be helping us clean. It's nice that you want to help me, but I've been scrubbing and scrubbing for the past three days all for nothing. Look. Maybe if you try scrubbing correctly, it would come off. Uh, uh, or not. That didn't work. I know. I wanted this heart to last forever, like my love for dear Lucette. And so I used some permanent cuttlefish ink. Uh, no. couldn't you have said that earlier? Maurice, hurry up and get here. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Don't worry. We mean you no harm. We just want to know why you're disguised as a mammoth. Since Hannibal became our leader, we have to disguise ourselves as mammoths and act like fierce warriors. Fierce mammoths to attack defenseless, tiny little moles? Hmm. I don't think it's very cool either, but Hannibal says mammoths must rule the jungle. And that's why all the animals have to fear us. So I try to be tough, but it's hard. Mr. Maurice, ah! bad moth moths kidnap Grumpy Mouse and Flying Mouse. What? They kidnapped Gilbert and Patricia? The cowards. Take us to your camp. We are the mighty mammoths of ancient times, brave and courageous, sons of the Stone Age. Everybody must fear us. This is our valley, and soon the whole jungle will be ours. Nonsense. Mm -hmm. In order to conquer the jungle, you need to be real mammoths. You don't display the iconic bump that mammoths have, and your tusks aren't long enough. You're not mammoths, you're just elephants in disguise. Gilbert, once again, this may not be the best time to show off your science skills. And besides, mammoths are much more impressive. Those costumes aren't cutting it. <laughs> Over there, for instance. Ah, that's much better. Now I can see. Take a look at this. Don't touch that! Oh, oh my! What's that? That is a Smilodon, also called Sabertooth Tiger. A very dangerous predator who hunted mammoths. The great saber-toothed tiger will come and avenge us. He's very fierce. You're lying. You want to risk it? A great saber-toothed tiger warrior? What's that? Good idea, Junior. Let's go get ready. Repeat after me. Mammoths do exist, and they are meant to rule the jungle. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Maurice, Bad Moth Moth wants to try to punish Grumpy Mouse. Delay him, Miguel. We're not completely ready. <laughs> Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Look! The saber tooth tiger warrior! So this is the great saber tooth tiger warrior and um, a little butter knife to Tiger Warrior. Mm, a great warrior, huh? <laughs> You're nothing but a scribble on a rock. Yeah, but on that scribble, I am the hunter, and you are the prey. Uh -huh. Saber-toothed tiger warrior. Calm down, guys. Actually, I'm not the great saber-toothed tiger warrior. <laughs> I am just the great tiger warrior. Grrr! Hannibal, you force us to be nasty. We even attacked four defenseless animals mm. like this. We don't want to follow you anymore. You made us think that by putting on a disguise, we wouldn't be afraid of anyone. That was not true. We were all afraid of you. 
Oh, well, that's just too bad. I'd find myself another tribe that deserves the mammoth's heritage, so there. Oh, yeah? And we'll always be there to stop you. <laughs> Thank you, Jungle Bunch. From now on, every animal's welcome in this valley. Uh -huh. Ah, home at last. Lucette! Lucette! Emil? Emil? Lucette! Uh, Lucette? Amiel? Lucette? Amiel? Oh, no! What did she do? Tell me she didn't do it! Oh, no! Oh, no! Please tell me you didn't use cuttlefish ink on this! Lucette! Amiel? I'll take the left one, you take the right. Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three! Oh. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy! On the balloon. Miguel, you just frightened away our lunch. Ugh. Miguel, sorry, but Miguel tough on balloon. <laughs> on the balloon. Patricia, catch. <laughs> Miguel, sorry. Hey, hey. A, a splendid specimen of Anthrus acari. A very rare mushroom. To prevent it from releasing its nauseous gas, I must handle it with the utmost caution. <laughs> ah! <coughs> Miguel! That, that smells horrible! Okay, Miguel. Leave your balloon. Duty calls. The Jungle Bunch! <laughs> What is that smell? Why are you looking at me? I didn't do it. Fine, I did. To the rescue! Good mission! Open. So, my friends, what brings you to these parts? Great warrior tiger, we were in our burrows when we heard a huge, terrible noise. The earth started to shake, and a cloud of dust came near, and, uh... Something really stinks here. Do not change the subject. So you heard a very mysterious noise. Then what? Uh, actually, we don't really know, because that's when we ran away. Do you think you'd be able to help us? Do not worry, Marmots. We'll clear this up fast. Let's go, my friends. <laughs> Oh, your home is a bit of a mess. Our burrows! Everything's ruined! And someone has eaten our food! Do not worry. We'll find the culprits. Gilbert, any ideas? So what do we have as evidence? These small black balls? But what are they? <laughs> oh, no. I can't smell anything because of the smell of that stinky mushroom. You better drop that. Don't you see those are rabbit droppings? <laughs> it appears there are many of these rabbits. Come on, we will follow the droppings and catch up with them before they destroy the whole valley. Rabbits, we are the Jungle Bunch. Why are there so many of you? Is there a convention or something? We are the Wild Bunch of Johnny the Barbarian. We are fierce conquerors. Yeah, we conquer things that need to be conquered. For example, we like to conquer carrots. Do you got any carrots? Yeah, or turnips. We really like to yeah. eat turnips. Rabbits, <laughs> get out of the way. Ha <laughs> ha, hello to you, warrior tiger. My name is Johnny the Barbarian. Wherever I go, carrots never grow again. Ooh-ha! 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 Ha <laughs> ha! Well, look who's here. The Jungle Bunch. Why don't you join my army? Together we will devastate all vegetation. No carrots safe. Ha 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 Hey, what do we look like? That's not our style to ransack the jungle and steal innocent carrots. We're not thugs. Miguel not like carrots. Miguel rather have bananas. Correct, rabbits. You will immediately stop ravaging everything in your path, or else you will deal with the jungle bunch. Ha ha ha! I'd like to see that tiger. Rabbits! Attention! Ooh! 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 
You asked for it. Grr! Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Rabbit. Hair razor. Wide out! He stinks! Like it too! Take that, my friend! Rabbit! Anti hair crap! You will not get the jungle bunch that easily! Get ready to suffer the wrath of the great warrior tiger! Rabbit! The fur ball! The fur ball! The fur ball! The fur ball! Huh? Miguel Dumpy on Rabbit's fur ball! <laughs> Nobody stops the invincible Johnny the Barbarian and his wild bunch. Ha 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 ha! Rabbit! Forward! March! Rabbit! Uh, Miguel was smashed by fluffy furball of so many naughty rabbits. They are just too well organized. We will never stop them with a frontal attack. Patricia is right. Johnny is the key. He is their leader. But how can we get to him? He's never going to let us get near him now. We have to find a way to isolate him. Oh, sorry, Gilbert, but you still smell really awful. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Mm-hmm, I hate it already. <laughs> hey, you! Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit! Who wants to touch the little tarsier that smells bad? This is humiliating. It works! You think the Wild Bunch would ever run away from a stinky little tarsier? Rabbit! The chopper! Perfect. Now then, rabbit, the furball. This is our only chance to reach him. It's up to you, son. No. Uh, hey, give me back my helmet. No way! I'm the leader now, so you can't tell me what to do! Am I right? Oh, really? You're a rebel? Go back with the others! Rabbit! Furball! Yeah. The furball! The furball! Yeah. It's the helmet! The others obey Johnny because of his helmet! <laughs> If they lose the helmet, they lose their leader, but it doesn't bring us any closer. It's impossible to approach Johnny. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Back to the jungle cave! Hmm? Come on, move it! Yeah! Yeah! Not you again! Rabbits, we have a score to settle with you. Too bad for you, you'll be terminated! Rabbits, take position! Here's a helmet, here's a helmet! <laughs> helmet! Helmet! Hey there, 
are plenty of carrots in the north of the jungle. Yeah, to the north! I think the north is this way. <laughs> and there are plenty of turnips in the west. Go west, young rabbits! <laughs> no, my army! Hey, come back! I'm your leader. Uh, this is all your fault. I'll make you pay. Uh, Mr. Maurice, can Miguel thump Johnny the rabbit? Uh, uh, I have to leave now, but I'll be back. Not so fast. You got a little cleaning up to do for the marmots. Follow us. And now, Marmots, these rabbits won't be coming back anytime soon to steal your supplies. And don't worry, Janelle will clean up the mess they made. Oh, take this, a souvenir. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, thanks again. But what is this crazy thing? I don't want it. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oops. Miguel, sorry. No. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Found a balloon. Patricia, pick up the base with the rocks. Al, Bob, throw the torpedo oysters in. You can do it, son. You're nearly there. Nice job, son. Your underwater training is now done for today. You did exceptionally well. Bravo, little tiger. Bravo, Junior. Yeah, well done. Ah, Joe, you were right. The Jungle Bunch has exactly what we need for our operation. <laughs> Go get him. I just disconnect this, and here we go. Go on, son. Go and cool down. Maurice, ugly fishy in Junior's water house. Hey, little guy, what are you doing in there? <laughs> oh, poor thing, he looks so lost. Maybe he needs some help. It's a deadly black piranha, probably from the swamp of deadly death. Hey there, kiddo. Are you alone? No. Do you want us to take care of you? <laughs> you want to go and play with Junior? <laughs> what a great opportunity to have a training partner. What do you say? <laughs> My tiger instinct tells me you two are going to get along. <laughs> We'll just put the submarine back in the den. Then we'll be back in time for dinner, my friends. <laughs> See you later, Jungle Bunch. <laughs> All right, kids. Ready for a little race? <laughs> On your marks, go! <laughs> Go, Junior! Go! You've got it! Uh, Junior, where'd you go? Well, not a bad first try, little piranha. Well, Junior, how nice you have a playmate. It certainly seems he likes you. You keep him company. He looks lonely. Dinner is served. Extra helpings for the athletes.
one stripe here, one stripe there, and there. Now you're a real little tiger, son. of this submarine, the Pink Flamingo Sapphire Egg will soon be ours. And once we have stolen the most precious and most well-guarded stone in the jungle, everyone will consider us as the greatest thieves of all time. <laughs> uh, what, what? The Jungle Bunch? To the rescue! Good, Good mission! mission. Open. Ah, son, we were looking for you. What are you doing in that pot? Oh, that nice little piranha was an imposter. Uh, he stole our submarine? But what for? To steal the pink flamingo sapphire egg? Ah, we've got to stop them. Come on, my friends. Let's head to the flamingos. The sapphire egg is a precious stone that reflects the moon rays and lights up the pond. The light attracts shrimps, which flamingos love to eat. That's the real power of the sapphire egg. Without it, the flamingos won't have any food left and they'll have to leave the pond. They've set up traps to protect the sapphire, but our submarine will help the thieves to thwart them. The underwater cave's entrance is filled with a very rare species of electric sea urchins. The submarine is perfectly insulated. Then, there's the rock beetles corridor. Stalactites block the way and drop from the ceiling on the intruders, but the submarine is super resistant. Finally, the sapphire's egg is protected by a light reflecting quartz pyramid. The quartz stones are very pointy and sharp, but our submarine's gadgets will help avoid them. Gilbert, the flamingos are watching the sapphire egg, aren't they? Yeah, but they're not too clever. Well, are you all here? All of you? There's no one standing guard? Yeah, we're all here, but but why'd you call for us? We have to go back to our post. Come on, don't you want to take a break to watch my dance? Come on, you'll love it. Watch this. Yeah, it's not bad, but we must go back to stand guard now. Oh, no, wait, you guys. You haven't seen anything yet. Come on, solo tap dancing. Well, that should be fine, but after the tap dance, we have to go. Now I'll dance on one foot. Looks familiar, huh? <laughs> hey, flamingos, that meerkat is attempting to steal your sapphire egg. Uh-uh, no, no, no. I'm just here for the tap dancing show. <laughs> Ah, the lights got out! Okay, okay, well, the show is over. See ya, bye! Oh, we've been robbed! Junior, Patricia, deal with the piranha. I'll take care of the meerkat.
Dumpy, Dumpy, Dumpy! Give up! You're surrounded! Don't you come any closer, Tiger, or the turkey gets plucked! Hey, do you know why flamingos stand on one leg? Yeah, I've heard that one, Tiger. If they lifted both legs up, they'd fall. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's not the reason. Congratulations, son. You're the winner. Here's your pink sapphire, my friends. Oh, thank you, Jungle Bunch. Now all we have to do is put the sapphire back. In the middle of all those deadly traps. That's not gonna be easy. Don't worry about it, my friends. I have an idea. That's all your fault, Joe. If you hadn't had the stupid idea to steal that stupid egg, the Jungle Bunch wouldn't have forced us to put it back. Sometimes you come up with the most ridiculous ow! idea. Ow! Ow! Oh! Ow! Ow! Joe! Ow! 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 Miguel, happy to learn to talk. Dum dum. Thanks, buddy toads. No, Miguel. Huh? You just tapped evil buddy thugs. Toad sounds like this. <laughs> well, in any case, for a Tom Tom beginner, you are doing a mm -hmm. great job, Miguel. Oh, I find it fascinating to be able to communicate like that over a distance. Don't you agree, Gilbert? Mm, I'm not even impressed. We Tarsiers learn this before learning to walk. Oh, of course, Gilbert. You were born with rhythm in your blood. <laughs> Oops! What this is! Duty calls, my friends. The Jungle Bunch. To the rescue! <laughs> Good mission! Open! So, my friend, what brings you to this part of the jungle? Hello, Jungle Bunch. I was just fishing quietly when a block of ice suddenly appeared on the river, and Gilbert's grandfather was frozen inside of it. <laughs> huh? What? Gilbert's grandfather? Yeah. Look! My grandfather? Mm -hmm. Amazing! An Australoxarsis! And he's completely intact! The ice preserved him from the time of destruction! I may be able to bring the first intelligent Tarsier back to life! No! Oh. Gilbert's granddad, Pa, doesn't move much. He's not my grandpa. He's my great, 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 great... Well, in short, he's my ancestor. If we manage to melt the ice, we can thaw him carefully and bring him back to life! But I don't get it. How did he end up in there? He must have gone hunting in the snowy mountains and probably ended up imprisoned inside of a giant glacier. And without last week's massive avalanche, he would still be up there. What about this beautiful red flower? Hmm, no idea. In any case, what a great day for modern science. Soon I'll be able to communicate with my ancestors and understand how we Tarsias have developed intelligence the whole world envies. <laughs> I can't believe it. He's gonna utter his very first words. Huh? He doesn't know how to talk? Gilbert's granddad for banana thief! <laughs> Miguel, do some granddad, Pa! Miguel, calm down! We mustn't hurt him at all! It's my great, 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 great grandfather. I only have one. He must be hungry. He hasn't eaten in a thousand years. That pretty. That pretty, huh? Huh? I'd say your grandfather's a little nervous, Gilbert. He's not my grandfather! 
Where's he gone? Oh no, he's disappeared! I'll go look for him. His tracks disappear into the bushes. It's impossible to find him. Hmm. His behavior is so unusual. Do you think we defrosted him too quickly? It's a possibility, but we have to find him before he creates any more chaos. Hmm. We could always attract him with a female, but the Astrolotarsis disappeared over 20,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Huh? What's wrong? What are y'all staring at? I'll have you know that I've never felt so ridiculous in my entire life. Honestly, Gilbert, I think this look really suits you quite well. And this makeup mm. really compliments your big eyes. Uh, Miguel, we couldn't have pulled it off without your hair donation. <laughs> Miguel happy to have friends, but Miguel feel a bit chilly. Okay, now we have the bait. We just need to build the trap. Now, get in, Gilbert. We're all set. It's up to you. Give it all you've got, Gilbert. It's not believable. <sighs> the things I do for the advancement of science. Let's go, Miguel. Well done. Yeah, that didn't go according to plan. Help me! Help! Where are we going? Where are you taking me? Oh, that's wonderful. Fire. Oh, and these paintings, they're beautiful. So this cave is yours. Oh, how fascinating! You lived here thousands of years ago, but your instinct brought you back home. No, leave me alone. It's not time for that. Uh, I'm hungry. Yum, yum. I want yum. Hungry. Yum, 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 yum. I have to get out of here before he realizes that I'm not his fiance. Otherwise, he'll probably get very angry. But at the same time, it's a golden opportunity to discover how my ancestors lived. No, I gotta run. He'll be back any minute now. <laughs> oh, great. Thank you. That's nice. <laughs> this time, I'm leaving. Huh? This red flower, the hibiscus, is the same one as the one on the block of ice. This means that his fever has been frozen right along with him. <laughs> okay, you don't want me to leave. <laughs> I have to find a way to tell the jungle bunch that I need rescuing. Come on, let's play some music. Let's hope the jungle bunch hears me. Maurice, I have a terrible feeling we'll never see him again. Hmm? Well, what are we hearing? It's Gobi Mouse. Him talking with Tam Tam language. Gilbert be locked up in a hidden cave near a lake. Go and find Gilbert, grandmother frozen in ice block. Bring her here and please hurry up. I can't anymore. I'm going to. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop,
We can't understand anything. Well, I think we get the point. Let's go to the glacier, and then we'll release Gilbert. Well, that's where the avalanche started. She's not here. There either. Oh, I see something. There she is. And she's frozen. Well done, Patricia. It's the female Tarsus. Now we just have to free her. Miguel, it's your turn now. Oh no, we started an avalanche. Quick, follow me. I like it when problems solve themselves. No, that's not possible. I said stop. Stop the kissing. Uh, don't you want to talk to me a little bit more? Eh? Oh no, I'm such a sight now. Oh, you? Not me, me, nay. No, not me, me, nay. No. Gilbert, we're here. We have Gilbert Granddad for a girlfriend. Ah, huh? Mimi Nay! <laughs> Thank you, my friends. That was close. Can you imagine? It's been thousands of years since they've seen each other. <laughs> They'll be so happy here in their beautiful cave. Finally together again after thousands of years. We should leave them alone, my friends. It's up to you, Al. Hop, hop, and hop, hop. Illusory checkers. Your turn, Bob. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> you lose, Al. Uh, shall we play another? Love to accept. We just ate all the checkers. Message! Huh? Message! I've got a message for the tiger! i got a message for the tiger! What? Oh. A message for us? What is it? The Great Warrior Tigers Tournament will take place at Solar Rock Island! Do you hear that, Junior? The Great Warrior Tigers Tournament. We can't miss that. Miguel can come, Mr. Maurice. No, it's only for tigers. Oh, Miguel's sad now. Sorry, Miguel. We'll fill you in. Follow me. Goodbye, my friends. We'll be back soon. See, See you, tigers. tigers. What a great idea, this great warrior tigers tournament. We'll be able to discuss our fighting techniques and, above all, the three highest virtues of tigers. A tiger is unpredictable and very intelligent, and a tiger never gives up. That's true, son. Stripes are also important. Here we are. This is it. Solar Rock Island. Phew, this has been quite a hike. Those shiny rocks look real classy. Very impressive. Follow me, we're almost there! <laughs> Hello? Anybody here? We've come for the Great Warrior Tigers Tournament. For tigers only. <laughs> well done. They fell right into our trap. Ah, our worst enemies. Mm. That's right, Great Tiger. We lured you here away from your friends to organize a special tiger hunt. The one who defeats you first will be crowned the nastiest villain in the jungle. Huh? Don't worry, Junior. As long as we're together, nothing can happen to us. You and I will always take care of each other. Be prepared to be hunted by Vladimir and his swarm of starving red ants. Melina with her latest devilish invention, the Resin Cannon. The terrible doom with his hypnotic look. The queen of the explosives, Fuse, and of course myself, Captain Coet. And the great Ferrex. 
Excellent, son. This trap will finally give us the opportunity to train. We'll kick their butts without help from our friends. Well, how do we begin? You coming down? No. You get half an hour. Head start. And then the hunt will commence. Half an hour? Yes, warrior tiger. Half an hour and not one minute more. Half an hour? We'll get bored. No, 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 no. This is what we'll do. Junior and I will hide. You guys count to 100, and then we'll start the hunt. We'll quickly defeat you, then we'll go back home, okay? Bye. Uh, okay, see you. Can I count? Can I count, Captain? Oh. Junior, do you remember what I taught you? A tiger must be unpredictable, smart, and he must never, ever give up. 97, 98, 99, 100! Let the tiger hunt begin now! <laughs> Where are you hiding, tigers? You don't stand a chance against my new resin cannon. And you, do the motion detector. They're not there, they're not there, they're not there, they're not there, they're not there. Hey! There they are! Hmm? There they are! There they are! Hmm, it's not possible, is it? They couldn't just fly away. Peekaboo! Hmm? There they are! There they are! There they are! Always be unpredictable, Junior. Well, let's go. <laughs> huh? You are stuck in there! Bye-bye, tigers! I will pulverize you! We have to find a way to reach her! Junior, the bomb! Well done, son! Like I told you, a tiger must be smart! Huh? Uh -huh. Ah, 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 ah. The hunt comes to an end! You are trapped thanks to my formidable army! If you move, you will be devoured by my red ants! Uh, how did you get them to obey? Did you capture their queen, or is it some sort of chemical trick? No! I have trained every ant you see, one by one! And it took me forever. But now they all obey me, and they make me invincible. <laughs> all right now, attack my little Veronica, Natasha, Manuela, Cynthia, Anna, Sara, Belinda, Camellia, Barbara, Edna, Kenza, Helena. Hmm. When facing an enemy as numerous as this, how would the tiger warrior react, Junior? Tiger got your tongue, son? Hit them head on. It helps that they're just ants, son. Let's go, Bonsai! Huh? Oh no! Not Veronica, Natasha, Manuela, Cynthia, Anna, Sarah, Belinda, my favorite! Come on, come on! We can't get tired now! A tiger never gives up, Junior! Revenge! You should have fought better, Veronica, Natasha, Manuela, Cynthia, Sarah, Belinda, Camilla, Berta, Emma, Daniela, Move Felicia... It. Ah! They defeated Fuse, Melina, and Vladimir very easily. They are stronger foes than we anticipated. I wonder if this tiger hunt was a good idea in the first place. Now, now, my friend, let's face reality. In a fair fight, we have no chance against the great warrior Tiger. But if you're able to distract Maurice, I shall take care of Junior. Hmm? And why should we create this diversion? Because you two have looked into my eyes. Looked into my eyes. Looked into my eyes. Looked into my eyes. And now, you are both my slaves. We are your slaves! <laughs> Take the one on your right. Hello, 
little tiger. Look into my eyes, into my eyes, into my eyes. Now you're a slave under my spell. Junior, a little help over here. Junior? Oh, there you are. Junior, what are you doing? Oh, no, my stripes. I found the weakness of the great warrior tiger. <laughs> the water erases his stripes. And without stripes, a tiger is no longer a tiger, is it? <laughs> Let's go, little one. Keep spraying. You're a tiger, my son. You can fight his spell. This is it. The hunt is over. I removed the stripes from the great warrior tiger and I've placed his son under my power. <laughs> when it comes to nasty, I am the nastiest in all the jungle. <laughs> Doom, you can't put Junior under your power. He's my entire world. We take care of each other. Isn't that right, son? We take care of each other. We take care of each other. A tiger must always be unpredictable. Hey! Tiger must always be smart. Ugh, I'm gonna scatter them like a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, uh. Ah, look out! It's gonna explode! A tiger never gives up. And now that my stripes are back, beware the anger of the great warrior tiger! Ah! Ah! I got it! Hold on! Stay away! I know Kung Fu! <laughs> Kayla, protect me! <laughs> For being the most wicked, I'd say we're all pretty equal. <laughs> And thanks for the stripes, son. They're classy. I think I'll keep them. A little too showy? Yeah, you could be right. Okay, I'll get them painted once we get back. But I can't wait to see the others' faces when they see them. <laughs> You're the tiger now, Miguel! Hop off the ground, hop and off the ground again, and hop still off the ground! Mr. Mori's too good at tiger tag. <laughs> Bob, you're going to be so impressed to see my latest living sculpture made 90% out of worms! Wow, so now you're sculpting with worms, huh? Ooh. Ah! Well, I also added a few cockroaches. Uh. Hop, hop, and hop up the ground again. So, Miguel, give up? I don't believe this is happening. Can't you play somewhere else than on my branch? Mr. Maurice, too fast. Be careful, Gilbert. You frighten my sculpture. Uh, this is disgusting! Ah! All right, duty calls, my friends. The Jungle Bunch. To the rescue! rescue! Good, Good mission! mission! Open. Master Hector, what brings you to this part of the world? Hello to all of you, Jungle Bunch. I have come to ask for your help in getting rid of this. Because this causes madness in all the jungle. Would you mind telling us a little bit more about that? This morning, while I was wandering along the riverbank. It no, belongs no, to the ours, elephant, I tell you. and that's fine. Ours. This belongs to us, the pachyderms. That's the beautiful sapphire cube. It makes all your wishes come true. That's wrong. This is probably the blue egg of the great Mugmunch, prince of all the jungle birds. This gem belongs to us. All lies. This is a cosmic present sent by aliens. With our long necks, the giraffes are closest to the cosmos, so it belongs to us. That's no, right. No, it's, it's the, the sapphire egg, cube. And it belongs to us, it I say. It belongs to the pachyderms. My friends, calm down. I have an idea to decide all and to cease this quarrel. Keep your eyes on my walking stick. Don't look away. Watch and hop! 
Ah. He took the cube! See, he took the egg of the great mud. You're telling us that that object causes madness? Why haven't you been affected? It can't affect me because I've been blind for a long time now. Well, if no one has to see it, the solution is easy. All we have to do is just bury it. Even if we bury it, young Tarsia, someone will surely find it one day. Show us this object and I'll tell you what it is and how to get rid of it. Young Tiger Warrior, cover your eyes. Hmm? How fascinating, so beautiful. That's not an animal or a mineral. That's not a plant. This cube is an extremely important scientific discovery. I've got to study it. I need to discover where it comes from. No, this wonderful object just can't end on a dusty shelf of your laboratory, Gilbert. Look at it, it's a very rare gemstone. Magnificent. She is so precious, precious, my love. <gasps> Sparkling blue square banana, the most beautiful among all bananas. Miguel want to eat it. It's mine. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. You were absolutely right, Master Hector. It looks like this object unveils the strongest wishes in everyone. <gasps> Jungle Bunch, pull yourselves together. We must fight against its power. This blue you know it's mine. mine. So, friends, do you believe me now? Absolutely. We must destroy this cube. And to be sure no other animal will ever find it, we're going to throw it into the volcano. Patricia, can you handle that? No, wait! I must first find out what the object is. Gilbert, let it go. Be sensible. Let's not take any risks with this odd object. I'll take it, I'll fly to the volcano, and... and I'll keep it for myself. Just for me. Hmm? Ah! On second thought, we'll all go together. Sorry, Gilbert, but there's no time for your research. We must destroy it now. I am too weak to go with you. Be careful. Animals that have seen this cube will want to take it back any way they can. It's that powerful. Come with me. I'll have to bring some gadgets that I've just invented. Look at this, Maurice. Hmm? Where is it? Ah, the TT fly. Her bite can paralyze anybody for 24 hours. And then a blowpipe. And some jars full of super sticky pine resin. Hmm? Okay, my friends, let's go to the volcano. Uh oh. Hand it over. That is the legendary sapphire cube. You have to give it back to us right now. Hmm, this is tough. Do we use force or strategy? Huh, no time for strategies. We'll use force. Yeah! better go with strategy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this what you're looking for? Uh -huh. I'll give it to him. Because it seems to uh -huh. me he's the only one who deserves it. <laughs> huh? The only one who deserves it? Why him? I'm the strongest. That's mine. No, I will have it. And all of my wishes will come true. It's Back mine. off, it's mine. Miguel, it's your turn to use the trick. Miguel not like that trick. Miguel prefers to thump. Exactly, Miguel. You gotta thump me thump the hippo. That is the trick? Miguel liked your trick. Tricky, tricky, it's trick. mine. Oh, it's mine. Uh, it's mine. My, 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 uh, who just hit me? Mm. How dare you hit me? Give me the stuff, hurt you. You're a dreamer. Grow some <laughs> tusks. <laughs> oh, he just hit me. Take that. And that. It's oh, mine. It's oh, no, 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 no. Just wait. Where's the cube? Watch out up front! Look! We're caught in the middle! Hey, Jungle Bunch! Come and hide here! It's your only opportunity to escape from them! Thank you, my friend. You saved us, huh? What's happening? Where is he taking us? You hold the egg of the great Mug Munch. An egg? Have you ever seen a square egg? Well, uh, yes, the egg of the great Mug Munch. You must give it back to its rightful owner, the Jungle Bird. Yeah. <sighs> uh, this is getting really tiresome. And what if we refuse? Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. This cube of misfortune makes people really crazy. 
Time for the fly to do his thing. <laughs> Your turn at bat, Miguel. Aim for the volcano. Swing! Dumpy, dumpy, dump. Catch the egg of the great bug bunch! <laughs> Junior, Miguel, let's go! Like in our game of Tiger Tag! <laughs> Patricia, catch the cue before the birds! <laughs> oh, Vulture friend, if we crash, Miguel thump you! <laughs> well done, Patricia! <laughs> Well done, Vulture friend. We not crash. Miguel not dump you. They found us. Come on, my friends. We're almost there. They're gaining on us. Gilbert, do something. Let's see if my very sticky pine resin works. I think we're stuck. Close. Well done, Gilbert. Uh, I can't let them destroy the cube without knowing what it is. We have to throw this cursed cube in the lava. But uh, where is it? Oh, Gilbert has it. Gilbert? <laughs> Miguel can't walk anymore. Miguel's stuck. Huh? We are stuck? <laughs> Sorry, my friends. I am a scientist. I can't stand to destroy the cube without having unveiled its secret. I must find out what it is. You mustn't do it, Gilbert. You know that cube makes everyone nuts. Son, close your eyes. Your turn to play. No! 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 I can get it. I can almost touch it. I almost... <laughs> You're right, Junior. It's better to let it go. <sighs> Thank you, Junior. Now that we've destroyed this strange cube, the animals should be more like themselves. Well, what do you think they're looking at? And I call this sculpture the Venus of Maggot. And you see this? This is my pride, the green cube of fireflies. Huh? I made a blue version, but someone stole it this morning. So that was the sapphire cube? A sculpture filled with fireflies? We really went crazy for nothing. Wasn't it the egg of the great mug much? Oh, that wasn't a cosmic gift? What a waste. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait. Come back. Don't you like my sculptures? Friends. I am a failure of an artist. Come on, Al. I'm sure your sculptures can be successful. Psst, Patricia, go toss this into the volcano, too. <laughs> Our homemade costumes pass the test. We hope that Fred likes them the best. Well, I should hope so. We worked hard on it. Right, Junior? Uh... Do you have a problem, Gilbert? Tonight is the big night. We'll have lots of fun. Mm. Fred celebrates 10 years of his career. If someone recognizes me, I can say goodbye to my pride. I assure you, huh? Gilbert, you don't look ridiculous. In fact, the snout fits you perfectly. Thank you, Patricia. Now I'm really not going. Well, my friends, it's time for us to be off. Miguel and Fred must already be there. All right, we'll fix this quickly, and then afterwards, we'll head to the concert. Al and Bob, come with us. The Jungle Bunch. <laughs> To the rescue! Open. So, my friend, what brings you to... Miguel, what are you doing here? You're supposed to escort Fred to the Circus of Geysers. Miguel, sorry. Miguel lose, buddy pig. Miguel tell story. Miguel walk quietly along. I'm really excited. Tonight I celebrate my jubilee. Ten years in my career and not a white hair on my mane that you can see. <laughs> Miguel happy for my buddy pig. Buddy pig. Buddy pig. You. Buddy pig. <laughs> Miguel so sad.
to lose his body, Pig. We have to find him quickly. The concert starts in a few hours. Hmm, he must have had stage fright at the last minute and left to go hide somewhere. Okay, Junior, Patricia, and I are going to head out and search for Fred. Patricia will know how to reassure him. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. And us? What are we supposed to do? Fred's audience is going to grow impatient. You have to go to the Circus of Geysers and entertain them. We have to entertain them? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Second time I've seen him, and the first time he's late. Are you all ready to rock? Good. <laughs> Don't worry, the show will begin real soon. The Jungle Bunch, they're coming. And here come Fred's friends, the Jungle Bunch. Our star will be performing next. <laughs> Missing. What are you going to do about it? It's terrible. The crowd wants to see Fred perform. And that's where we come in. Bob, did you do your tongue exercises this morning? Yep. Hmm. So this is where Fred went missing. There. Some footprints. If we follow them, they will lead us to... Nowhere. They stop after 50 feet. It's a false trail. <laughs> What's going on, Junior? What? You were a little bloated today, is that it? No, I think Junior is trying to tell us that over there it smells like a Fred fart. You're right, son. Good job. But why in the world would Fred leave a trail of farts for us to find him? Ew, let's go. Fred! Yo! Hmm, there's something about this path that tells me something. Hmm? Yes, I got it. This path is the one that leads to Grassland, home of Pelvis. Exactly, Junior. Here's this musician who did not know how to sing and that Fred exposed. But oh. when you are so near to me, Mon Amour, I'm like a kid in a candy store. What a terrible voice. Say, it puts me in a bad mood. Not that imposter. I bet there's a connection with him and Fred's disappearance. Hmm, I don't like this at all. This story does not look good. Fred fans, I've got good news. Fred is on his way, so get ready to rock. Hey! But now, put your hands together and welcome his longtime friends, Al and Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Tony friend really funny, huh, Gilbert? <laughs> Whatever. But what happened here? I don't know, but Pelvis hasn't cleaned up for a long time. Well, it's important we stay on the lookout. We never know. <laughs> hmm? This way! Psst, my gal, come on, do what you do best. But now, what are we going to do to keep them entertained? That's out of the question! Impossible! I will never! Huh? Oh. Hmm? The, 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 itsy bitsy spider crawled off the water spout. Nope. Oh. Be careful. It looks like a booby trap, but you never know. So we'll bypass it for safety. I don't understand. No one's here. 
yet the fart odor comes from there. <laughs> oh, yeah! The itsy bitsy spot, I climbed up the water spout, spout! Down came the rain and watch the spot out, out! Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, yeah, 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 yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> the jungle bunch. I guess you're coming to rescue this evil warthog. Well, you're too late. Huh? Who just spoke? Huh? Huh? Oh, yes, it's me, it's me, it's me. Is it me or is he a bit cuckoo? Uh, I share the same judgment. Pelvis, you're going to tell us right now. Where is our friend? All right, you just had to ask, that's all. Yeah, I'm really glad that I see you. Thanks for coming to my rescue. Get me away from this freaky dude, or I'll be grinding up meat and chewed. Oh, yeah. <sighs> ah, Fred ruined my career, revealing to the world that I didn't sing myself. It's my turn now to end his career. Oh yeah, that's me. That's me again. Uh, I'll leave you alone. Now here comes my final hour. My life has gone from sweet to sour. When this trap devours my thighs, I will disappear from your eyes. <laughs> sing, Fred, sing. I'm listening. <laughs> huh? Oops. Uh, uh. Huh? Who's screaming like that? Huh? Oh yeah, it's me. <laughs> Hold tight, Fred. Come on, Patricia. Try to slow down the trap. <laughs> huh? uh, Maurice! I won't be able to hang on much longer! Oh. Hmm. Ah! It just might work. Fred, huh? get ready! Thanks to the smell of my farts, you found me here in these parts. I'm the king of passing gas, but you guys really saved my ass. Oh, 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 well, thank you. Thank you. You can thank us later, Fred. There's a concert waiting for you. And, oh, the it is spider. I love you, my loyal fans. Oh. Buddy Pig, Pig, I'm so happy. Buddy Pig came hmm? back. Hey, 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 hmm. hey, 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 hey. You heard him, everybody. Fred is in the house. So now it's time for the concert you've been waiting for. I'm not death metal destroy you. Hey, hey. I'm not bebop swinging, ski bop jazz. I'm not funky pop soul or R and B. I'm boom. <laughs> there? Huh? Who said that? Oh, yeah, it's me. It's me. Well, at least I won't be alone in this pit. Hey, give me a leg up. Huh? Who, me? Yeah, you. You see anybody else here? Huh? Who said that? Oh, yeah, it's me. It's me. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> oh, but why? Why do you all always choose to make noise right before my nap? Sorry, Gilbert, but it's the perfect musical moment. Almost there, son. Yes, mastering the Wutu, the technique where the ears see everything, requires a lot of training. All right, let's start again. <laughs> We'll continue with the training later, Junior. Duty calls the Jungle Bunch. 
to the rescue! Good mission! Open. So, my friends, what brings you to this part of the world? No, we're here. Great warrior, tiger. Please help us. Uh, we're gonna be here for a while. Gilbert, goodness, they're exhausted. There is a mandrel magician, very, very loud. Oh, he's preventing us from sleeping. Yeah, well, welcome to the club. You were talking about a magician mandrel who keeps you from sleeping. Yes, just so he can get us to leave our cave. He even threatened to turn me into a swallow. Blech. Tonight, you will sleep at home. I promise. The Jungle Bunch will take care of this magician in your cave. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Miguel wants to see magician. Miguel never saw magician. My poor little bats. I have an idea. You're going to stay here and get some rest. Really? <laughs> we didn't want to ask. Hey, everybody, we can stay! <laughs> Oops. Well, that was quite a hike. Hello, anybody here? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Let me guess. You heard all about my fabulous new show, and you couldn't resist coming to see the fabulous Mandrick. I'm sorry, but we did not come for your show. We came to ask you to leave the cave. Huh? What? Why exactly should I leave? Because this cave belongs to the bats, not you. But this is my cave now. I've designed my spectacular show especially for this place. I won't leave it for any reason. <laughs> this cave is mine. I'm here and I'm staying. <laughs> Hold on a second. That's it. Of course. Don't panic. It's just mirror effect. Look, this one reflects a body, and that one the head. The mandrel was never in front of us. That means it can be hiding anywhere. All right, let's move. Otherwise, we'll have to share our lair with all those disgusting bats full of germs and parasites. That's quite enough now, Gilbert. Rude behavior is totally unnecessary. Bats are very clean and... Perhaps, but did you need to invite them to our place? Okay, fine, you know what? I'll take care of this magician for us so you can stop your complaining altogether. Huh? You offended her, Gilbert. Nice job. Patricia? Patricia? Woohoo! Patricia! <laughs> so you're back. Did you forget something? Abra Cadabra! A bat in a hat! Patricia, release her evil sorcerer! Very well. I agree to set her free. But you must leave my cave. No, you release Patricia and then you get out. Abra Cadabra! Bat, be gone! And good luck! Finding your little friend! <laughs> oh. Patricia! Oh. Get me huh? out of here! Don't worry, Patricia. Wait, Marie! Ah. You could hurt her. Let me look at that. Get me out! It's too dark in here! Oh, I get it now. There's a false bottom. Look at this, guys. I just turned this in the opposite direction and... <laughs> Gilbert Magician! Oh, I'm so glad to see you all again. You, not so much. Huh? But I was the one who got you out of there. Look, you'll settle that later. First, we have a mission to finish. Where'd Naughty Magician go? Don't worry, Miguel. He can't be far. <laughs> I think we should split up. For once, I totally agree with you, Gilbert. No, we stay together. Junior is going to guide us thanks to the Wutu, his technique where the ear sees everything. You ready, Junior? Mandrel have managed to cross. Junior couldn't have been wrong. I'm going to check out the other side. An older 
illusionist trick. A trick? For real? Yeah, so what? Hmm, well done, Jungle Bunch, but the game is not over. seen so many quartz crystals. Hey, look at me. I look so beautiful. Oh, Miguel not see Miguel. <laughs> ah, Miguel, wake up, Thunder. This is not Thunder. It's static electricity. Don't worry, Miguel. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> Are you looking for me, Jungle Bunch? I'm here. Grr. No, no, I'm here. There. Lower. No, over here now. <laughs> Which one of them is real? So, Jungle Bunch, you finally realize that you can do nothing against the great powers of Mandrake! Magician, make fire! Not good fire! Don't worry, these are only reflections. Ow! Okay, a couple may be real. Quick, we have to get out of here! <laughs> Miguel very afraid of magician. We'll have the final word. This illusionist will taste our magic tricks, you'll see. And you will have a very important role to play in this, Patricia. What do you want? Where are your friends? They left. They're too afraid of you. And you? Aren't you afraid? I'm afraid too, but I have to tell you something. It's a bit silly, but okay, here I go. Ever since I was a baby bat, I've dreamed of being an assistant to a great magician. And since I saw you and your exceptional tricks, I was kind of hoping that... Oh, yes, exceptional <sighs> indeed. And you're right to stay in this cave. You're just so handsome in all these reflections. Come on, please, let me be your assistant. Say yes, say yes, say yes. Pretty please. Hmm. I'll give you a try. Wonderful. Maybe I can start by cleaning your quartz crystals. Your show will be even more magical. Oh. Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> That's much better. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest, the most illustrious magician! I'm it's a signal. Of Here we go. The no, the king of illusion, the great mm. Miguel! Mm -hmm. The fabulous master of lightning! You were right, Gilbert. He had prepared a secret passage to escape. Aha! I knew it. It's up to Maurice and Junior to play the final act. <laughs> Can you see him, Junior? <laughs> ha! So, Mandrill. <laughs> Did you think you could escape like that? <laughs> Okay, enough praise. You can all go home now. And what did you do about the awful magician? Hmm? <laughs> I will be back, and you will all suffer the revenge of the hmm? greatest magician of the jungle. Oh, okay. I won't be back. Oh, You're welcome. Time for a nap. <laughs>